morning, afternoon, evening, or midnight, whatever it is. And welcome back. Uh, today we're talking about Newton's first law, which says things that are moving keep moving. Things that are stopped stay stopped unless something pushes or pulls on them. All right? And so we're going to focus in, this is easier, on things that are stopped. Okay, things that are stopped are going to stay stopped. That's Newton's first law. And so what I got today is I have some washers here. And I have this little stick. And if I hit a washer with my stick and it's not moving, then it moves like that. All right, so now let's try something cool. And we're going to set it up. So I have a stack of six washers here. And if I take this bar and slide it flat, I will only hit the bottom one. And so only one moves and the other five don't move. So then I can try it again, back and forth, and I'm always only moving the one until I get two left and then it's harder to move. Keeping with the same theme, if I take this nickel and put it on top of this loop, it's going to stay there unless a force is applied to it. Okay, So I can grab this loop here and the nickel will not be pushed or pulled. So it will stay there and if I move the loop, then the nickel will fall down because of gravity, but it shouldn't move side to side. So here we go. So the nickel fell straight down because there was no push or pull on the nickel. So Newton's first law again says it's supposed to stay there unless you put a force on it, and we didn't put any force on it, so it stayed there. So the classic demonstration is of pulling a tablecloth out from underneath a table setting. So if I only pull on the tablecloth, I'm not pulling on any of these things here. So theoretically, those things are not going to move because Newton's first law says there's no forces, so no movement. So let's see if we can get it to work. One, two, three. Voila! Yes! Didn't work the last time. Just like the table setting, now I have a tall rod, copper rod, sitting here with a piece of paper. And if I pull on it, I should be able to get the paper out from underneath the rod. But it's very tricky because the rod is carefully balanced. Well, so, what we have to do is try and trick it and be as sensitive as possible to any extra movement. All right, so if I instead hold it like this and hit the paper evenly, there you go. Perfect. Try. Now I bet you can tell me what's going to happen here. I'm going to use this broom. Whack it against the side of the cabinet here, bam, but it's just going to hit the pan. So what's going to happen to the golf balls? Are they going to move? Well, they're not getting hit. So hopefully, they're going to fall right down into the water. So let's try it out. All right, and here we go. Voila. Golf balls all the water. Now our last bit here is going to be a puzzle for you, the viewer. If I pull on this string, which one is going to break? And I'll help you out and even explain it. If I pull on the bottom string carefully and slowly, the string at the top should break. Like so. All right, but then, if I pull on the bottom string fast, and the reason the top string breaks is because if I pull down here, I'm pulling down on this string with a certain amount of force, but this string is holding up the pulling of my hand and the weight of this ball. Now if I pull on this string here on the bottom with a lot of force really quickly, I break the bottom string. So, what's happening here? So I'm tricking you a little bit. It really depends on Newton's second law, which says that things start to move and accelerate depending on the force that you put on it and how much mass they have. So this ball has a lot of mass, so when I whack this uh, cylinder here, right, it doesn't move very far. Right? It's not going to move at all, according to Newton's first law, and it's moved very slowly, according to Newton's second law. And so since it doesn't get moved very fast, all the stress is put on this bottom string, which breaks, and not much on the top string. So once again, if I just pull slowly enough so that all the force is on the top, well, all the force is applied evenly, then the top string has more force, and the top string will break. All right? So until next time, just enjoy science or something. I don't know. Go, go read a book.